Morning, Jose Monkey. I bet you can't figure out where I'm at. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. Guys, I'm excited about this one because it looked difficult at first, but I trusted my gut on a couple of clues, and I found this way more quickly than I expected to. So what can we see? The first thing I noticed was that this video was mirrored, so I flipped it around. This person is sitting in their truck, and they ask to be found, and then exit the vehicle. Bro, was that a companion cube sticker on his truck? Huh, I think it is. Nice. As the person gets out of the truck, we can't see much at first. We've got some trailers and other cars here. We can see this here, and I wasn't sure if this was a truck or another trailer or a sign or what it was, but I couldn't really make out any of the details anyway. Finally, they show us this beige building that has kind of these mint green stripes. I noticed these reddish marks here, which look kind of like rust stains. I'll come back to that. And that's pretty much all we can see, but I noticed two other clues. First, this person is wearing a neon yellow shirt, and in a few frames, I thought that I could see what looked like a company logo. It looks like this might be the international paper logo. Also, we can't really see any of the license plates in this parking lot very clearly, but I thought maybe I could figure out what this one was. Now, I know it's super blurry, but if you just kind of like look at it for a minute and let your eyes kind of unfocus and just look at the dark and light shapes that you see here, you can kind of sort of start to make out a shape. And the only state that I could think of that had a shape like that on their license plate was Oklahoma. So I thought maybe this was in Oklahoma. Now the shirt that the person's wearing seems like the kind of thing that an employee of the company would wear. Like I don't think Gen Z kids are out here picking up international paper shirts at Hot Topic. So I wondered if maybe this person was an international paper employee and that they were near work. And it certainly seemed as if this person had just arrived at work and decided to hop out of their truck and record a quick video to send me. So guys, I googled international paper Oklahoma and I only got three results. And when I pulled up the first one, I zoomed in and saw this. Guys, that was it. You are here at the International Paper Container Plant in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I was able to use the clues in the video to determine that your truck was parked right here in this spot. Okay, it's time to check which previous location was closest to this one. And guys, this time it was one of the locations that I found during the New Year's Day live stream that I did. And that was in Oklahoma City as well. It's not too far away. It's only about two miles or three kilometers away from this place. Guys, if anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.